Today we start our unit on trigonometry. And I start off with the definition of trigonometry. It's the study of relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. And I have already sketched out a triangle that we know there's a relationship that exists. I have a 30, 60, 90. And just to review, uh, if this side is one, then we know that the hypotenuse here must be two. Also, we know that the longest leg on this one must be root three. That's one of the special right triangles that we have talked about. Now, I'm going to make a list of the ratio because uh, if I want to make bigger 30, 60, 90 triangles, I have to just follow this rule. I have to just make this. And so I'm just going to make a little list. So uh, if, we're, if I'm standing at 30 degrees, what do I do? I'm going to compare uh, the opposite side. compared to the hypotenuse. And for 30 degrees, and this is, this is a 30, 60, 90, okay? For 30 degrees, that would be one to two. All right, uh, another comparison, if I'm at 30 degrees, I can compare the side that's next to me compared to that hypotenuse, okay? And we're gonna call the next to me, we're gonna call that the adjacent side. In this case, would be root three compared to two. Another comparison I could make would be I could do uh, opposite compared to adjacent. And that would be one, two, root three. And you could rewrite that, of course, as root three over three. Uh, and then we also could make the reciprocals of all, all of these. All of these comparisons are trigonometry. They are make they are they are studying a relationship between the sides and the angles. So if you have a 30 degree angle in a right triangle, they will always be this relationship. Simple as that. Now, two little things you've got to remember. I have a right triangle. I have to maintain the right triangle because if I change that right triangle, change that angle to a uh, an acute angle, that's no longer one. That's no longer over three. All those bets are off. So we're going to stick with uh, the right triangles and keep it simple. Uh, okay. So I'd like to also well, let's do the same thing. We'll do all the same comparisons for 60 degrees. So if you're standing at 60 degrees, the opposite side now becomes root three. The uh, hypotenuse still would be two. The adjacent side for 60 degrees becomes one. And the hypotenuse is still two. The uh, opposite side for 60 degrees is root 3, and the adjacent side is root 1. Or excuse me, just 1. You can see that there is a relationship between 30 degrees and 60 degrees because certainly those two are talking about the same triangle. Because if it's a right triangle, there's two other angles that are left. Fantastic, right? So how you're thinking, well, how can I use this? Well, you already know how to use this, because if I gave you a triangle and I said, I want this to be 30 degrees and I want this to be 15, you are going to automatically tell me the other sides. We already did that. That's why I taught you that earlier. That's 15, that's 30, and this would be 15 root 3. Big deal, right? You were already doing trick. Well... Trig actually talks about more than just the special 30, 60, 90. We, we are going to encompass all the angles because if I were to make other triangles, let's say a 20 degree 
90, and 70, wouldn't there indeed be a relationship between the short leg or the opposite side from 20, right? Whatever this is compared to the hypotenuse. And that would be true for every right triangle that has a 20 degrees and 7 degrees. So a very smart man, a Greek in, uh, let's see, he lived from 180 BC uh, to 125. His name is Hipparchus. He compiled a trigonom uh, trigonometric table. And he calculated ratios at seven seven and a half degree intervals, and then used linear interpolation ter, interpolation to find the intermediate, intermediate values. And that just means that he he actually did it for seven and a half degrees, and then he used his his information to find the, the ones in between, right? So he made a list of all the right triangles with all the degrees, right? And so what he did, and he and he would make a triangle, I think uh, I think it's interesting. Seven and a half degrees. Why do you think he used seven and a half degrees? Uh, give you a little hint right there. How about fifteen degrees? And he made a right triangle with fifteen degrees on this side, and eighty-five degrees on this side. Excuse me, seventy-five degrees on this side. And then he would measure it. You could just add, you could construct this triangle. I think you could construct this triangle. Fifteen degrees perpendicular. Figure out how big this is, measure it, compare the ratios. Doom, do, do, write it down. Hipparchus wrote down all the values so that he could come back to them. Instead of figuring it out and redoing it each time, he had a table he would write down in his book of what fifth, the, the ratio in a 15, 75, 90 degree triangle, what the ratio was to opposite compared to hypotenuse. So we could use that, and we'll have this for 15 degrees. We could use that to build or make, construct, whatever, a new triangle or solve for things like that. So the table I have doesn't show up very well. Uh, for 15 degrees, I've got the ratio right there, 0.25882. So the ratio is... 0.25882. That is for 15 degrees. That's the ratio of the opposite side compared to the hypotenuse. And you're going to think, well, well, big deal. How can I use that? Well, if I know that ratio, and let's say I want to make uh, this be a 20-foot ramp, how big do we need to make this? Now, if it's 30, 60, 90, that's easy. But if it's not a 30, 60, 90, we have to do this. So the opposite compared to the hypotenuse is equal to this, no matter what. Similar triangles, they always, always will be this ratio. This is a decimal form. I like a fraction. So we can say the opposite. So now we don't know what the opposite side is. We'll blurp. We do know what the hypotenuse is. It's 20 feet. And we do know what the ratio should be. So now I solve for x by multiplying what that ratio is multiplied by 20. So um, I can do 0.25882 times 20, and it would have to be 5.17 feet. How about 1.8? Now, go off and build it, right? And that would make you, if you make that perpendicular to the ground, and now you have a ramp that's exactly 15 degrees. Very valuable, especially the, his, his table is very valuable and things like that. So it can help you immensely of solving these things.